So it's Christmas Day, boys and girls. Um, hope you're all having a blessed one. Uh, I'll give you a little update. The Approved Premises Saga. Obviously, already this year, I was working for a contract for the Ministry of Justice covering uh, approved premises. Uh, one particular approved premises, the negativity there of a minority of staff was most unacceptable. And I don't stand for that. I don't allow that. I don't agree with bullying, I don't agree with uh, targeting people, and I don't agree with sniping. Now, since I've done those videos, I've had quite a lot of people contact me, giving dates, times, and some have photographs of things that have happened. And one of the things that really, really shocked me was, I'm not going to mention the individual at the moment, or this will be presented in the new year to the head of probation. That's right, what a lot of people are not aware of. As an individual, I teach a lot of different people and I know so many from barristers to judges to your average Bobby to your average guy on the street. And I have a beautiful reputation for just being straight. So I was informed that there was a individual in an AP within Manchester who took a speakerphone, wireless connection one, after a resident was sent back to prison, recalled, and that was scribed off as damaged or broken. This is not the ethics we would expect from staff. This is not the ethics we would expect from anybody in a position of authority. And the surprising thing is I've got more and more people popping up who've like inboxed me privately and said, look, I've worked at that place and the individual that you named tried the same type of behavior with, uh, with myself and I'm a female. I'm like, right, okay, cool. And just to cheer the people up that tried to take my video down and thought they got it, took it down. I sent it to a different country. The laws are different in different countries. So I have friends everywhere. And I mean everywhere, because I've spent half my life teaching and they will support what I do because they know I don't do something for no reason. If something's wrong, I will fight it till the end. So come the new year, I'm going to sit back and I'm going to assess what needs to be done. And hopefully this will be exposed correctly and dealt with correctly because I never got a response back. I never got anything back. They just did the old, oh, let's just brush it under the carpet. Well, that's not going to happen. And we'll go from there. I have nothing to lose. Absolutely nothing. And you can't have somebody dealt with because of their views and opinions. This is called freedom of speech. Just because a small person with a bad attitude who likes to try and bully people and has failed because I swear to God, when I get older, that individual, they're in for a nasty shock. I hate bullies. I have a reputation for fiercely dealing with bullies. Anybody that knows me, that's exactly what I'm like, where it's concerned with those types of individuals. But we're going to leave it where it is. Enjoy your Christmas day. The AP saga continues. And I thought I needed to update you guys because I know for a fact, because I mentioned certain things from an AP, the video was against community guidelines on YouTube. But when I click this at the end of it and I send it out to everybody, it goes international. It doesn't go just to the UK. And um, a big up for the auditor from Yorkshire, who's now pointed out the issues with the probation service in Yorkshire and how they are treating people. Respect for that, because these things need to be dealt with. It's not right. It's not right. Yeah, we have general criminality, but within that criminality, there are some people who are desperate to try and change and desperate to try and make an effort. We're not there to make money off these people. They are not a business package. They're not business clients the people that need help, and the system is dramatically failing, all right? And that's not the way forward. 
it's not the way forward. And like I said, I ain't got now to lose. But I know people have. Reputation means nothing to me. I surpassed all that ego shit a long time ago. You know, when you're in your APs and you're in a almost clinical environment where you think you have total control, you can do what you want, can't you? But I work in the city centre and it's on your toes thinking there and then. Literally. There is no clinical environment. It, the It can change from a simple situation, escalate to something absolutely crazy within seconds. I see absolute madness on a regular basis in the city centre. But like I've always said, there are some very, very really good staff at the approved premises and it just seems to be two particular places with several individuals within them and I strongly believe the particular one over in the Stockport area that that individual has manipulated other staff into his style of behaviour and because of that I think they're now going to hang and that is really disappointing but hey when you kick the devil, always remember, no matter what you do or what you think you do or who you think you know, there's too many of us to allow it to go away. And the fact that people are coming forward that I've never met in my life is, I'm so pleased that you're doing it. You know, how long has this type of behaviour going on? How many years has this type of behaviour been going on? How many decades has this type of behaviour been going on? How many times has it just been brushed under the carpet and forgot about? And let's not mention that I believe there have been COVID breaches in certain areas as well, but that's none of my business. Like we always say, like the auditors always say on YouTube, we're always watching. If you seek justice, Speak the truth or remain silent. Yeah, even if it's detrimental to yourself, speak the truth. Peace and blessings. It's Christmas Day. Enjoy it.